Hello. In today's video, I show you how to use the optimizer for signals. And there is an inbuilt signal optimizer in with him in signal control. <laughs> you, however, need to have VZIG uh, license in order to use it. Uh, you can find it out in the license menu or if you go and start a new signal controller and you go edit data if you have all of these then you have VZIG if you only have signal groups intergreen and uh, programs then you don't have so let's start so how you can do it so first you need to have um, a signal controller set up and you need to set up in a specific way so you must use um, a stage based program so what that means is if you have your signal groups let me create four so I'm going to have one for northbound, one for southbound, <laughs> one for east-west straight through movement and east-west uh, turn. So eight, I need to create an intergreen as well for this to work. I am just uh, assuming a six second intergreen between all movements to keep things simple and also just to be aware the minimum green time here needs to be set up um, otherwise the optimizer can reduce it to like zero or like nothing so you don't want that you want to have at least five but probably like a six here <laughs> okay now the intergreens are set up in stages so what i'm going to do i have four stages so each stage will be basically each movement so each signal group will has its own stage then we go to the state assignment, a stage assignment. I select first the intergreen matrix, which one I want to use. And I just select in each one, which are uh, the ones I want. So northbound will be stage one, then southbound stage two, and so on. Then I go to stage sequence. I can just double click on these uh, one by one, and it creates an order. So if I want uh, one, two, three, four to run in cycles, I just basically create uh, this one, two, three, four. If you want to move them around or if you want to double them up, you can just do that and just keep double clicking and it will create more. And here, what you need to uh, do is you need to set up your cycle time. <laughs> I set up a relatively high one since I have four stage. Um, and you need to create a stage based signal program so you can't use the signal group based one. So you create that and here you jump to the signal program and it automatically created one here and it has the settings, the cycle time, it has the name um, automatically created and basically I'm not going to do anything with it because it will, um, it will optimize it and you can have a look at the interstages here um, basically when it changes. So you can have a look at these, but you don't need to do anything with that. So let's save and quit. Um, you also need to place the signal heads. So this is going to be my east-west turn. Uh, duplicate. Okay. I just create the... This is the east-west uh, through. I just quickly do the rest. This goes up here. This is the southbound. And then this is the northbound. Okay. I just move this a little bit back. So, um, by default, you are not supposed to do a uh, node, but I had issues so I would recommend to place a node covering your intersection um, and you need to make sure that in the configuration the nodes is ticked on it's because Vizim use this node evaluation to do the optimization you can read in the manual up the sequence so it basically has like a best and the worst stage and from the best it keeps locating green time to the worst and then if there is no more to allocate it goes to the second best and so on and it checks the results the throughput and the delay 
and it does it iteratively. So when you start the optimizer, it will run. Um, so actually, let me just start it. So signal control optimize all fixed signals. Yes. So it does optimize uh, iterations. <laughs> if you look here, you can see it runs multiple runs. And also something to consider is that it optimizes signalized intersections one by one. So if you have like a corridor, it goes through them one by one and only one uh, and only has one signal control active, the one you are optimizing or the one it optimizes at the moment. So if you have like a closely placed intersections, you probably need to be careful of this optimizer and you need to have a look at the end results just in case uh, that, you know, um, it doesn't block back another one so you in real life you might need to sacrifice one uh, to keep the corridor going well or to have a green wave or a coordination so that's something to keep in mind but basically here you just need to wait i'm going to cut off the waiting time and come back when it's over okay it has taken at least 20 or 30 iterations but it's been done so let's see the difference so if i go to the signal program you can see it moved it around just completely moved it around <laughs> it removed a lot and cut it back to minimum basically the ev the east western and extended a lot the straight through movement so if we run the model now it should <laughs> well operate well so let's just speed it up a bit So it seems that it is running well and it worked. So this is the way you need to do it. I hope it was helpful. I think the only thing to consider is that you must have that um, VSIG module in your license. If you don't, you can only do VSWAP or manually tweaking it. But to be fair, when you're manually doing it, I think it's also helpful that you see what's going on. Or let's say this um, left turn blocks back the main movement. So you need to you know, move that around a bit. So just to keep in mind that this is an automatic tool. It can save you some time, but it probably can't handle complex uh, situations. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or recommendations for future videos.